buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, we are in Cozumel, mm -hmm. Mexico, getting off the ship today. First, we're going to power up with some breakfast. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I think we'll check out the Tuscan Captain's Coffee something. <laughs> Whatever it is that the Loyalty Club gets right, us right. a quick breakfast. Yeah. And then we're headed to a new spot. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always on the lookout for beach clubs. And some folks don't want to hop in a taxi and have mm -hmm. to go places. So we found a Del Mar Latino Beach Club, yeah. which is walkable from the Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Piers. Yeah, not far at all. It's been around for a while, but it's new to us. Yeah, they only take like 30 people a day. Yeah. Really like small and boutique. Make reservations in advance. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, but we're gonna check it out. Yeah. So it, it's the closest to the Royal Caribbean Celebrity Pier, so mm -hmm. we thought, you know what? This is a perfect time to do it. So. <laughs> I'm excited. Get our day started. Yeah. There we go, on deck three, just outside our cabin, pretty much. Duskin! Hospitality yeah, yeah. Coffee Lounge. Yeah. Well, they came around with a pastry tray already, so you know I had to get in on that goodness. Anyway, this is the same menu that we saw before. Nice little selections, most of it cold stuff. Psh, drinks and smoothies and stuff on the back. They've already brought us um, some orange juice and water as well. Well, we both decided to start with the fruit and berry plate. Mm. Very nice. We also got the smoked salmon with bagel and a cheese plate. Look at all that blue. That'll wake you up in the morning. Gross. All right, gangway down. Well, I guess just on deck two. Oh, I forgot about the destination gateway concept. All right. We got the basement down here for utes. Some last minute toilet opportunities. And the gateway. Oh, we are in with Allure of the Seas today. Look at that big bad girl. Oh, there's Carnival Glory over at Puerto Maya. Yeah, I think that's Punta Langosta way down there where MSC Seashore is currently docking. And we're at what they call the International Pier. All right, let's go through the dog sniffing zone. Mission number one is to locate the street, which is normally done by following taxi signs. Yeah, if we make it through the vendors here in the mall, or you can actually cut around to the left on the outside, we should find what we're looking for. I see a street. We have done it. Yeah, you can catch a cab from here, but it's literally a 0.3 mile walk. I don't know how much a cab would be. Maybe... $8 for four people from the carnival port. Okay, that sounds right because the minimum number on this sheet is $8. Oh, so right. I would just bank on $8 per vehicle per way. Like a two minute ride. Let's walk it out. We have come out of the port now and turned left. So it's 9.15. We are going to time how long it takes us to walk 0.3 miles from this zone. And you get awesome photo ops, shots of the ship from out here. Nice. Oh, I can see our landmark up ahead. Just across the street from Casa del Mar, next to Atlantis Submarines, we have got Del Mar Latino Beach Club. Look at that gorgeous entry. It is 9.20. Okay, so it took us five minutes of de-walking. From the time you get to the tax. Area. Yeah. So you still have, you know, all of the navigating in the port, but it's not far at all. Of course. Yeah. Here's their sign. 39 USD. That's for US me. All right. We'll wander down here and see about getting checked in. Ooh, let me watch my step. So I've got restrooms over here. We just checked in at the bar area. You just hit the little cash register. That's where you get checked in. So we've got water i know it said they have a man-made beach area there is their pool and they also have a natural ocean pool oh this must be what we're calling the ocean pool so entry by steps little snorkeling rocks and stuff so that could be promising we did bring water shoes and snorkel gear and all that stuff so we're prepared and look how close we are to the ship we could just swim back there if we didn't feel like walking so lots of loungers. D has gotten set up over here. Well, let's check out the pool. Oh, how deep is it? Three feet, I think it says 3.3 feet. And they call it an infinity pool because it does go right up to the edge. Oh, you got a ledge in there to just sit on. But it looks like access again by stairs only. 
Well, they've given us a food menu and a drink menu. Now, they do have prices on here, which are in pesos, but our bracelet admission does get you everything you want. So there's the cold snacks. Hot snacks. That was my nickname in high school. Uh, she said the only thing they don't have is the club sandwich, which I guess is why it's kind of marked out, but everything else is good to go. There is the beverage listing. We have English on this side, Spanish on the other side. So we'll just check this side out. Actually, you know what? For thoracity here, there's the lista de bebidas. Nice. We've started off with a strawberry margarita. Looks like they're doing the nice little compostable plastic straws there. Cheers! So the property here is open from 9 to 5 every day. The bar opens at 9.30, and the kitchen opens at 10.30 for food. So, but we've got all day to chill out, hang. We're going to try some food, drinks. They've got Wi-Fi, squeaky buses, whatever that is behind my head. <laughs> but digging the vibe so far. So 30 people. This is kind of like a nice, calm way, I think, to just chill out. I like that all the traffic decided to drive by as I'm doing my update. I really haven't had too much traffic noise until right now. Isn't that the way it goes? <laughs> Time to see if there are any fishy friends out here in the snorkel zone. We stayed out of the water while the Holland America ship, it's the New Amsterdam over there. Well, it's behind glory at this point because they were causing some waves and some swooshy swashies. There she goes off into the big blue world. Well, it's not too deep, just deep enough for me to get down and get refreshed out here. Lots of rocks though. I ended up just wearing my Crocs flip-flops into the water because I didn't think I need full water shoes and that worked out really well. So now we're here. Let's do a Cozumel spin. Why not? Yeah, the water's not too bad. Low wave action happening. Look at all kinds of views of our ship from out here. Mermaid D from out here. in here weren't too bad you've got handheld or handrails most of the way down and then i just sat on my booty and scooted the rest of the way so i did the booty scooting boogie and here i am so the water is nice and clear up here i can see all sorts of rocks mermaid d says that she was seeing a lot of her usual friends out here she's out in the zone now but they got these red buoys pretty nice big swimming area actually <laughs> So I came all the way out to the buoys and there's more rock formations and things like that to explore and there's the ship right there. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's a nice, decent, fatter snorkel area, honestly. Sorry, I have water in my eye. <laughs> Fishy update. Yep, so I'm back from exploring beyond just this little area because you can go all the way out to the buoys and it's really good, honestly. Like in Mexico in general, um, I haven't had the best snorkeling, but I'd say this is some of the better snorkeling I've had. The water is super clear. There's a variety of fish. I saw the most sergeant majors I have ever seen in my entire life. So the Mexican army has sergeant majors <laughs> as well. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, um, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, check it out and go, go a little bit further because it's not bad. As long as the waves kind of let you get out and then you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. Just kind of watch yeah. for boat traffic. Watch for anything that's going to make waves. Oh, and they're scuba diving over there. So oh, I actually I saw, saw some, some people. people. I think they may be training. So I caught some of that on camera in the far distance. That was really cool. Yeah. So this must be an area that they do that. They came and like jumped off of the little thing over there earlier. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hey. Very cool. Now, I didn't wear my sunglasses out here like I should have, but anyway, first impressions, digging it. We're going to dig into some food here in a little bit. 
and see because we've heard the food and the drink are some of the stars of the show so we still got to check out food different beverages pool time yeah crikey there's scuba divers right there <laughs> That's cool. I guess they do dive stuff right here. Maybe at this uh, property next door or somewhere in the neighborhood, but this is their dive spot. Nice. Well, it might be time to hop out <laughs> and get some snacks and some whatnot. Yeah. Look at this. They've got foot washes just before you get in because they are smart as anything. All these ledges for D. We're going straight into pool mode. Oh, I just put my sunscreen on again and they've got a nice shade for me to sit under. I didn't even know that was a thing. Listen to tunes, just gaze out at the ocean. We have ordered some rum and coke light. Yeah. And we're gonna check out this food eventually, but we're just enjoying the water too much right now. The restaurant is officially open. Yes. But we ate breakfast not too long ago. Yeah, it's only 10.50. More basking time. And everybody has abandoned the pool in favor of getting some snacks, so it's all ours now. We've got like adaptations of the Beatles playing. There's a Norwegian ship coming into port down by MSC. I don't think it's the sun, but we'll have to see who it is. Here comes the sun. Maybe not. Not super familiar with the whole art. No, the whole art all of them. is pink and yellow flowers, and our best guess so far, I think, is Dawn. Dawn? We really Dawn. don't know hall art. Side note, we decided to try their Paloma, and it's pink. It's made with pink grapefruit juice, I guess. That's cool. It's, it's normally really good. grapefruit soda, Yeah. but I like this version with the pink grapefruit. fresh juice, and yeah. so it's not all that sugary sweet like soda, and yeah. I enjoy it. Y'all, the first order of food has come. We have got coconut shrimp, and we got nachos with pico and guacamole, and chicken nachos. All right. First impressions, looking good. I like that it's small plates. True. They all fit on the table, and it's like real silverware. Or real. You know. <laughs> it's fine china, that, baby. That. <laughs> food update. This food is daggone legit. The guacamole is nice and bright with a nice little citrus in there. The pico is nice and sharp like it should be. Coconut shrimp. Strange observation, it is the most coconut I have ever had on a coconut shrimp. It is loaded and it didn't have tails like you could eat the entire thing. Strange observation, but I liked it. Chicken nachos, I tried one of these. Very good. You digging the nachos? Uh huh. Yeah, pico on the nachos. Favorite drink so far has been the Paloma. Now, I didn't realize we were in the pool, and she just came by and was like, what did you like? And I just happened to know that, you know, I like Palomas. It's not on the menu that I can tell, so we went on the secret menu, apparently, for the Paloma. <laughs> Pink grapefruit and tequila, but it's very good. So, yeah. I like grapefruit, though. That's true. Y'all, I'm impressed. We're going to try some more food. You know we are. So it looks like we've ended up with Carnival Glory and the Holland New Amsterdam as well as us and Allure in port today down on this end. And we've got MSC Seashore and Norwegian Sky is who was sliding in earlier. So six ships today. Oh, our next load of food has come. Yeah, it's a kind of a small table, but we're making it work. So <laughs> Dee has ordered fries. I just want to see how they are. <laughs> True. You've got your mixed seafood ceviche. Yeah. More chips, more guac, and I got fried chicken tacos. Uh, we've also got the Paloma and a melon daiquiri working, so. Yum. How's the fries? They're good. Yeah? Crispy and hot and salty, and that's all you can ask for, right? That's true. Oh, I was wondering. Okay, so the chicken tacos are more like taquitos. Well, that makes them a lot easier to pick up and handle. Back into the foot wash. I'm back into the pool. See if Dee can survive in the shade. We may have to find you a sunny ledge or something. It's all warm and dry. What's a little chilly? They turned on the full fledged country music. Yeah, all day cool. we've had like Latin reinterpretations of pop songs. It's like straight up country music now, okay? Yeah. Ooh, the rains have come. We are under the half of the pool that has the umbrella or, you know, coverage. I guess it's not really an umbrella. But I went and grabbed our bags and our shoes and put them safely under cover so we should be safe for now. Y'all, we have spent too much time in this pool. It is time to get out and almost time to head back to the ship. 
Oh, the sad times have arrived. We're leaving the property. Now we will just head out to the street and hang a right. There's Diamond Center National, the Royal Village Shopping Center. Oh, here is the entrance to our pier, I believe. Literally five minutes, guys. That is so fast. Super simple. Boom, we're back to the taxi area. We just have to get inside and roll onward. Ah, yes, ID and ship cards. Oh, we made it back through the initial security checkpoint. We are heading back to the ship, squeaking along. Welcome back to Beyond. <laughs> Hello! Fresh and clean dinner time. So we are back yeah. on board, obviously, ready mm -hmm. to head to Cosmopolitan for dinner. Yeah. How was your day overall at Del Mar Latino? Really good. I loved wow. everything about it. Um, it is smaller, so if you're not looking for like that small boutique kind of feel, may not be quite right for you, but if you want amazing service, a really nice pool, great snorkeling, amazing food, and really good drinks, it's for you. I want that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I no complaints whatsoever. We didn't want to leave, so. No, I know. <laughs> and it's walkable, so you save cab That's fare. That's the thing. You can walk if you want. Um, it's sort of accessible, I would say. Oh, true. If you're just for... there for drinks and food, because there's a ramp down to get into it, it's super easy. Yeah. But With getting the ocean in the pool, and the pool. And ocean, I don't see how that would work, honestly. Right, for accessibility's yeah. sake, I don't know, but it, it would be a good food and drink yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And hmm. $39, Currently, as of this video, yeah. you cannot beat the price, honestly. Yeah. It was great. So for a good walkable solution, mm -hmm. whoo, we had a day. 100% would go back again yeah. several times. <laughs> anyway, now we're heading to Cosmopolitan mm -hmm. for dinner. Yeah. Let's go eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump up to deck four. Welcome to Cosmopolitan. There's our Cosmopolitan cocktails, our exclusive starters and entrees, the classics, and the celebrity signatures. We've got a bread selection of the evening, including some garlic bread sticks, and then our dips are blue cheese, butter, and avocado mousse. Decent lighting in here so we can look down the old beverages page. Cosmopolitan exclusive carrot cake, which I did have before, but it is tempting. Classics and of course signatures. We've got a few hours to kill between now and the show. What can we do to waste some time? Oh uh, boy. And we're back. We have come up to the theater now for the Elements production show, which the doors should be opening in a few moments. Alrighty, we have found our spot for Elements. Oh, we can watch the Elements of Cloth <laughs> bounce around until showtime.
away for some late night comedy tonight. Please, please uh, stick around. Basil is, is back with brand new material and adults only. And I repeat that, adults only. That means that if you get easily offended, huh? and I mean this, if you are easily offended, we kindly ask that you please come and sit down closer so we can understand the jokes, all right? <laughs> but do not miss Basil tonight right here in the theater. But first, like I always say, please go out and about and enjoy yourselves. But one more time, thank you so much for being such a great audience. How about round of applause once again for the cast of Elements? One more time, we to Luigi, whatever you choose to do, remember, have fun doing it. In the meantime, Gracias. All right, we are done with the show. Oh yeah, we may as well look at the solarium while it's all lit up. We've come up to deck 14, because we're on our way to the deck party. That's the door deck. Oh, see. He said it was the rooftop. Yeah, he oh, said sure. rooftop on 15, but the app says it's gonna be 14 mm -hmm. resort deck. Well, I guess we'll find out. It's definitely not in the solarium, but hey. <laughs> Well, we also get to see the pool deck all lit up and fancy. All right, haven't done much strolling at night, have we? We are gonna climb to 15 in the hopes that we are going the right way. All right, this looks and sounds more like a party. All righty, we have scored front row seats to the action. I guess maybe there's a dance party and some entertainment and who knows what going down out here. I mean, right now, Dee is pretty entertaining, but you know. I can't not dance with Latin music. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, things are getting spicy out here now. Music is kicked up. Folks are dancing. We got animatronic animation thingamajiggies on the screen. Oh, Dan and Dee has joined in the excitement now. They busted out the merengue. I am getting my chair dance on right now. My arm is gonna be swole. Oh, mercy, I've been brought to the floor. Because I'm so awesome. It's a dancing, you know it's true. Oh, we've got an organized yeah, class. It's gonna start Let me now. Show you three basic uh, music, uh, Latin music rhythms. Right, two, three, stop, left, two, three, stop. Back, tap, close, and back, tap, close. All you're doing is tapping the same way, just with a little twist to the back, okay? Right, tap. You know what to do, right? Turn around. Oh my god. You had to come over for a water break. Alright, we are moving the party away from the party. <laughs> well, okay. There, there she goes. Oh, going down. <laughs> we have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow and get off our ship information, which you never want to see, really. No. Chocolates are looking, oh, oh, are they looking dark? They are upside down dark. We've had dark every night, haven't we? Wow. Oh, ah, good night. Good night. We are back in the cabin for now. Mm -hmm. I still have lots of energy. Oh my god. I could gosh, go dance. You more. danced and danced and danced. I didn't record a lot of it because, you know, copyrighted music. And then, plus, yeah. you went to the front of the crowd and I lost sight of you. I thought you might they have said, left the ship. Move forward. So I was oh. just trying to do what the gentleman said. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Good night. No. Nothing to say here. No, 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 no. All right. What do you want Today to Today has been amazing. So, super chill <laughs> at. Um, Del Mar Latino. Del Mar Latino. Right. Yeah, I just want to make sure I get the yeah. name right. Um, and then back on the ship, dinner was really good. Yeah. I mean, we did kind of simple entrees, but they mm -hmm. were really, really good. And then the show. Oh, don't watch no. it, y'all. It's awful. It's terrible. That show was the most stunningly beautiful show I have oh. ever seen on a cruise ship. Probably even Broadway, honestly. Like, it was gorgeous. I saw, like, acrobatics that we've never, ever seen before. There were lots of surprises the in there. The props were beautiful. They had, like, smoke bubbles. I don't know how oh, they did yeah. it all. It was so cool. I kept going, wow. Wow. I know. Smoke wow. ring bubbles and a giant hamster bowl. I mean, you know. I wish oh. Jay could show you the whole thing because it, it's I like know. that good. But if you go on Beyond, please go see the show. Yeah. Maybe I don't a little ruin it, like avant garde for a few people. Oh. I don't know. But 
you could definitely say that you you couldn't say that it's not talented and beautiful. That's honestly, true. it's gorgeous. The best show since Can't Stop the Rock. No, on Royal stop Caribbean. It. And I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it no. it's gorgeous. We don't talk about Can't Stop the Rock. I got emotional. I was like, it's so um, beautiful. <laughs> And then the Latin party. That, that was, was the best awesome. Latin party I've ever been that to. That was Croatia. festive. It was great. Um, the dances were really fun, super easy to learn. Everybody kind of knew how to dance, which is a yeah. huge plus when you're in like yeah. a crowd. Plenty of room to dance. That's why I sat in a chair. I loved it. That was my favorite dance yeah. party. No, it was called the Upbeat Latin <laughs> Party in the app. So it lived up to his name. Yeah, yeah. I had a This is one of my favorite days. Hmm. Honestly, yeah. Everything we did today was, was great, honestly. All right, we're trying to determine. Do you keep saying? I think Celebrity Beyond is eking its way to the top of her. Uh, we're we're going to we'll say favorite <laughs> ship that is not Carnival Pride. That's the award that we have to. Uh, it's beautiful. Oh There's no, lots of space. The food is going to stop. I don't know. I we'll mean, see you by tomorrow, true. but yeah, so far. You're not wrong. It's so nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Good night. One C day before we hit full auto, Dale. No. <laughs> Good night. Good night.